Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can build this fancy medieval house in your own Minecraft world. Now, you can make the leaf your own and I'm not going to be going through the whole interior because it's just going to be uh, too much and it's going to be, it's going to take a long time to like finish the video. But, just kind of make it your own with the interior and I really like this build. So, without further ado, let's get into the blocks we will be needing to build this house. So you will be needing a stripped oak wood or just any kind of wood you want, an oak log, a couple of stone, slab stairs, and stone brick stairs. You will be needing a spruce wood, stair, slab, button, trap door, and the door. So basically the whole spruce wood category. A glass of your choice. Now I am using the the uh, gray stained version because it looks uh, nice in my texture pack now i will be leaving my texture pack down below in the description it's a blue nut texture pack so if you guys are interested go be sure to go check it out now you'll be needing coaster or the snow border if you don't mind it turning into grass but i mean course that looks nice in my uh in my texture pack so i'm be i'm gonna be using it and fl uh some flowers of your choice some tall flowers as well a barrel lantern the uh, flower pots oak trap doors and leaf of your choice now the oak leaf looks really nice in my texture pack so i'm using it without further ado let's get into building so this is the floor plan now it may be hard to follow the floor plan because uh you know you can't directly see it but don't worry guys i will be going through the whole floor plan and the whole outline in the tutorial so anyways let's get started firstly we come to uh choose choose wherever you want your building to be place one block down leave a five block gap going to the back one five block gap one to the right two block gap to the right two block gap to the right two block gap and two block gap coming down five block gap to the left five block gap coming down five block gap and that is basically it and we're gonna put four blocks uh four more oak log on top of the the log we have we have put just placed so it should be one two three four five in total so raise all of them up to five in five blocks in total and i will catch you once you're there Now, once you're done, you should have something that looks like this and we're just going to be connecting them up all together. So connect these all the way up together. Now, don't connect these because it would just make uh, like a square. Don't don't connect these. Just leave them as they are uh, because we're going to be filling a floor in, the, uh, in this gap right here, this whole gap. In that we'll have a second floor so just fill in every single gap just connecting them up together and you should have something that looks a bit like that now before we go uh if, before we keep building like the top part we're gonna come down and fill in the cobblestone so just fill in the whole wall like we'll smash out the doorway and the windows later just uh, fill in the whole cobblestone wall first and I will meet you once you're done Now, once you're done you should have something that looks a bit like that now coming down to the first block we've ever placed now we're gonna go to the middle smash three blocks don't smash the half uh the, the last one because we're gonna have a floor in coming all the way uh just throughout the whole building then we're gonna place one couple stone uh stairs right there 
one here and one there so we have like uh two stairs curving into the middle one and we're gonna put one stair upside down stair in the middle so we're gonna have a doorway over here and coming to the uh the left we're gonna smash these two all the way down and then put one at the bottom one at the top one at the bottom one on top and you should have something that looks a bit like this now we're gonna place in the glass panes later now coming to the right this wall right here we're gonna smash four uh not supposed to do that and we can basically just do that and this one over here just at the corner now just leave the back alone because there's not gonna be any windows here but that is basically all the windows for the first floor and before we move on actually we're gonna fill in all the all the uh, the gaps with spruce planks or just any kind of planks you like like maybe oak if you're not in the if you can't find any spruce if you're in survival but spruce personally looks the best so if you have spruce just use spruce And there we go. Now, let's keep uh, building the outline of the the whole building. So, firstly, we're gonna come to the first block, the the first pillar, I should say, and smash that. Do an overhang. So basically, you're gonna connect these coming out. The same on this one, an overhang. Then coming to this one, place one on t uh, on the side of this one don't need to smash that because it will look quite odd then do that oh we should smash that as well so you have you should have something that looks like that oh and one thing i forgot to mention guys you have to smash another doorway here and you can there's two options here you can do the same curve thing but for this door i'm just gonna do place uh two cobblestone slabs on that one then we're gonna come to the back this just leave this wall as it is to here we're gonna smash these two so it should have the same same uh same pattern as the opposite side and we're gonna place another one here leaving three block gap actually not don't want to place that one there place one there uh, just like at the window this uh, window and that is it you should have something that, that looks a bit like that now we're gonna go come to this one place one on top of every single uh well we've just placed now for these three actually we're gonna add one on top of them one on top of these and one over here you can put one there but it sh i think it should be covered with the uh the flooring we're gonna do later so don't really need to worry about that now we're gonna raise all of these by three more so one two three on top not four guys if you're doing four it would just look odd if you're adding the window so do three guys do three uh so it should have four in total so one two three four so there should be four logs on top of the log with just uh, the log sticking out okay guys once you're done actually can i can just smash that once you're done with that guys let's go over to the first one we've ever placed the, the doorway and we're just gonna connect these up together so you should have a little uh like a what it called like a little hole overhang or something and smash the the logs behind it so you should have the cobblestone exposed on the top right there and we can do the same on this doorway the back door and we can smash that one because that will be covered it will not be seen on the outside and we will have a second floor and leave the back alone guys and then come to the back do that smash these uh put that 
smash these. You can smash five here because it's gonna get covered. And that is basically it. Okay. That's good. Now before we move on to the roof, let's get uh the flooring in. So where you have the cobblestone exposed, be sure to fill them in and then coming all the way down to here. So these blocks will be covered as I said and just fill in all the gaps. Remember it's the log going across, okay, running all the way down here. So we're gonna fill in all of these with screws, planks or just any planks of your choice guys. Now we're gonna go through the whole wall, okay? So firstly we're just gonna raise these by four. So just fill in all the walls uh exposed on the outside. Basically the whole wall with these oak log running uh, across. Once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, we're almost there guys. So we're gonna mark the roof outline. So for the first, from, from the first pillar we placed, place one sticking to that, one overhang, and then one upside down stairs facing towards it. Now we, we're not gonna do like normals going nor uh, normal stairs going up we're gonna do spruce uh, a full block and then a stair upside down stair full block normal normal stair upside down stair full block normal stair and that should be the middle so uh just like simply guess the middle so should be the fist just the middle guys and we're gonna do the same over here. So, full block, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down, whoops, upside down stair, full block, and stair. And for this middle, guys, we're gonna place one sticking outwards and then one on top and one sticking outwards once again. So, you should have some, uh, something that looks a bit like that. Now, Coming to the left uh, left side guys, we're gonna do the same right here. So we're gonna uh, do that, facing towards each other. And then we're just basically gonna do the same. So f upside down stair, full block, ups uh, stair on top, upside down stair, full block, stair on top, and that should be the middle. Yep, that is. And after you're done, you're done with this, uh, this roof peak guys, you should have the same height as that uh, roof peak. So, on top of this one, do that. Upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair, full block, and stair, and a middle one, sticking, uh, one on top, and a, or one sticking out. And you should have something that looks a bit like that. Coming to the opposite side of that, which we've just placed, do the same. Upside down stair, and then this one, be sure to curve this one guys, like uh, put one there and I will fix that one little gap there uh, in just a minute. Now we're gonna do that and then full block, stairs facing towards each other, uh, upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, and upside uh and upside down stair in the middle one sticking out and just like that now we have one small little roof peak here so what we're gonna do this would be a little awkward guys but you're gonna put two spruce plank like that one uh upside down stair kind of forgot what it's called and then the same here so we basically have oops we basically have the same roof here 
So this is a little smaller guys, but it's basically the same pattern. We're just gonna go like that, like that, and yeet. I don't know why I said yeet, I have I have feared English language guys. But uh that is basically it for the roof peaks outline. Now I'm gonna fill in the full blocks first, so uh the first uh the first pillar we've started we're gonna go down all over to here and we should you know what guys we're gonna fill in this one because it looks a bit odd without it and we should have something that looks a bit like that then we're gonna do the same but this time sticking one out otherwise it's gonna look weird when you put in the whole stair we're gonna go through the whole uh, full blocks first guys it's easier to follow like that then we're gonna run this all the way down to the opposite side and then we can connect this one all the way up to this one and there we go but now we can basically just do that and you know what guys we can we can fill in this one and this one just help you do that a little easier guys or otherwise it looks a bit odd now we can keep connecting these up together and then uh just like that now this roof will be smaller but it will connect up nicely guys don't worry about that and this one we're just gonna float it in mid-air wait, wait, wait we can connect this up just like that and we have this running all around and we should connect this up nicely and yeah there we go and we can place one right there and just connect these up guys and should have something that looks a bit like that yep and now this is just left with the straight line guys no need to curve or anything this is just a straight line running all the way to the back okay and there we go that's all the food blocks so you should have something that looks a bit like that uh, don't forget uh if you have any corner left just fill them in guys go double check if if there is any and there is none okay so now we're just gonna fill in the stairs so just running these all the way now we're just gonna put a stair on top of the full blocks that we have just placed so it should be easier to follow like that guys should be very easy very simple and uh if i catch you we'll I will catch you guys once you're done with the roof. Now for this one guys, you can eat, uh, either curve or you can just stick it into, oops, stick it into that. I think curving is the way to go. And we can just do these last ones like that and that should be every single corner and that should be the whole roof. So uh, for this part guys, you can either use a slap here to just like connect those but i don't think it's needed and then we basically can just connect the roof now the roof you have two options now option one is you can just run slabs going all around the whole roof and i think it looks nice it looks nice but another another way uh, the another option I should say is you can place one block here so choose the middle right there so there uh, should be all the roof running into this one then we can place stairs running all the way down 
so we have these kind of pattern and I think it looks quite nice now this is inspired by a uh, blue knit guy so make sure to go check him out guys uh, the roof part and then we can come over to here and just fill that in okay so that's all the roof one thing i forgot to say guys we should fill this in if you're watching this before you build we should just fill this in before uh you fill the roof because it would be easier but one thing i forgot to say guys is you need to like uh put in the roof so i mean i mean the walls so it just kind of just fill in the gap here guys really i really do apologize that i forgot to so that's now if you're playing in survival be sure to light the place up and the first floor up okay you can choose a stair uh stairway where wherever you want but you just like uh use torches or like lanterns to light the uh the place up first guys because it would be really dark if you did not now just fill in the gaps all the way and just fill in the gaps where the, you can see with the stairs like this and that should be it okay that is it now we're just gonna this is basically the whole uh, building guys but we sh we can go mark out the windows now so firstly this is the first uh, the, f the front part uh, the front door and we're gonna on the top half guys on the top half of this stripped of wood we're gonna place three like that smash two on the bottom half place three so you should have something that looks a bit like that and then put two like that and let's let's grab our glass panes and put two just like that sticking into that one so it kind of curves and we have a little bay window guys i think it looks really nice then we're gonna go uh, a block and a half, smash those two, and should have a two block gap coming down from that one. Now this is kind of optional guys, you can either use a trap doors, wait, let me just uh, do that, uh, where is it again, oh, uh, never mind guys, so you can either put a slab there and you can put a flower pot on top, or you can uh, put uh the block in front of the glass temporarily and you can add trap doors like that as a little shutter i think both would look really nice but for this build guys i am going to be using the slab okay so i'm gonna be using the slab and yeah so for this one we're gonna smash out the uh these two so so for this one guys we're gonna be smashing out these two and then we're gonna be uh leaving two block gap here guys and then fill those two in with glass paint you can you can put a slab if you want but honestly uh you can just leave it as it is then we're gonna come to this one do the same so uh this little roof peak here so we're gonna do the same thing a little bay window like that Two glass pane on the side and then this guys we can actually do just one there i think it looks quite nice now don't do that guys because if the window is too big it doesn't look really look that good so we're just gonna add one uh glass pane there and i think it does the job now coming to this one guys uh we can do the same so a bay window smash those two and add those have i smashed those yeah I, I have and then coming up we can do that and then a screw slab then we can come all the way to the uh to this side guys now don't worry if this uh, wall is too blend because we are gonna have a staircase and some decorations at the back and a staircase will be leading to a balcony or like a doorway area so uh, we're gonna have that do the same here guys a window a bay window actually and then like that and a slab and there we go now we can put windows around here 
and that is basically it now before we move on guys be sure to fill in the windows we have over here it's good to add some windows guys but don't uh, do too much windows on your on your builds guys that's one of my recommendation because if you do too much or too big of a window it would just looks a bit odd let's grab our spruce door and we're gonna go in these be sure to light the place up guys if you're playing in survival and then that is basically it for the whole build you can just leave it as it is like that but we can add a final detail uh where is it a button so we can grab that button and then we can place these on the tips of the oak log guys i think it adds that extra detail so we can add that and look at that guys i think it really adds that extra detail although it's not much i think it really adds the actual detail then we're gonna have another little uh doorway here so for this one mm, okay we're gonna smash those connect that so i have uh these running all across and then that one smash that put a spruce spruce wood right there and then we can have the door put that in the side can, we, can i just go in okay put that inside open it and we should have something that looks a bit like that how do we go in uh we're just gonna add a staircase here so on uh the first cobblestone here guys we're gonna place one there an upside down one just do a normal staircase guys use a stone brick stairs you basically can use a cobblestone stair but i think the stone brick stairs look uh quite nice so it's gonna come all the way up so we should have one two three four five okay we should have five and then you can stick one like that so it should curve don't do that uh you can actually do that but i think curving it curving it looks nicer so we can have that and then just this one curving into the log then we can oh one thing guys you can add a window if you want to like add a single window here if you want to i think adding a window there looks nice then we can have our trap door that is all the doors guys i uh i think so we can place one trap door in front not directly on this one you can still place one there and then place one sticking out then crouch and then place one on top and now uh stick uh tricky parts you can go down like that or one thing guys you can do is shift and then press space bar and then you can place place one on top if you're in bedrock edition guys i don't think you can do that but uh you can try guys and then shift and space bar it will just lock you in uh, mid air while you're in shift so it helps a lot while you're building uh, with trap uh using trap, trap doors to build guys and we can delete these parts down here and then we can add another one just here and then let go of your uh, shift and just do that now it looks odd but activate all of these leave uh trap doors guys i was about to say level oh my goodness okay but flick all of the trap doors guys and i think so see you can smoothly and nicely walk up and there's like a little balcony staircase here to look out to the great nothing wow how how magnificent but uh that is it guys before we wrap up the video we have some final details we can do so uh we can either add some so these guys uh we can add that one okay and where's my flower pot let me grab a flower pot real quick and we can uh, get a flower pot where's my flower pot i keep losing my flower pot okay and then we can have these orange white uh, red tulip you can basically make your own guys uh like choose 
any kind of just any kind of the uh, flower you want sure guys uh can't think of words just now and grab your cobblestone slab guys grab your cobblestone slab and we can start by with the first pil uh, pillar we've built and then we can stick one there and uh we can do three and two and one back to that one and replace these with coarse dirt it's nice to add the final touch guys we can we can add one here actually uh i changed my mind with the barrels i think the barrels look nice but you can actually add one here guys if you want to i think i don't really think it's that uh it's that disturbing i think adding one actually looks nicer than the barrels now you can add one wherever you want guys uh i think um this one is a hot one but i think we're actually gonna dump my old design there guys uh we can actually just do that and oh oh we can do that guys that was not my original plan guys but just kind of uh while building you just kind of need to test things out you know like you can't just go with a simple like a you just kind of need to test things out and that is it now you can add you can like with here guys i have two right here i, mean, I can i play some barrels here but you can basically add, make it your own guys like really and i think that looks about right you can place a flower pit wherever you want guys like really for this one guys i'm gonna smash that and place a dirt right there and then place a trap door one downside about this uh pit guys is you can see that little dirt right there but no one really gonna see it to be honest like or you're just gonna zoom in or something like like, like come on but we're gonna put a flower here. I'm gonna put the Ezra Blue it. What? 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 Ezra Blue it. I should stop saying that, guys, or I'm gonna get slapped in the face. But, uh, place a flower pot when where you have the uh, slap, an orange tulip, or some, uh, any flower of your choice, guys. Uh, red tulip, I'm gonna use that. And I think it looks nice. Now, that's always the cobblestone uh, slab guys we can grab our leaf of your choice and we can just uh, place one right there and we're gonna use the uh, flower put one there just gonna cover the flower up if you can uh, kind of see it the, f the smallest detail actually means a lot guys like if you want to add a lot of flowers like it, it really adds a lot of details we're just gonna you can kind of curve this around uh with your own style guys but i'm just gonna do that you don't really have to follow mine uh my my leaf design guys like you can you can go however you want on this uh you know what we're just gonna do that curving it all around the roof just like dangling around the roof guys have that one uh i'm just gonna dangle it around the roof and then just have this running down to this one you can kind of have them connecting up together if you want guys but uh just feel free to make this your own so we're gonna go up then uh we're gonna, you know what guys we're gonna actually do that and hmm we can actually do that and then i think that looks about right yeah that looks nice okay uh and then we can go to the back right here and then we can add some leaf if you want to now the back part here guys is optional you can add this one you can replace this uh this back part of the flower pit with barrels if you want to like how i did with uh 
the 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 one I origin I originally planned, but just uh kind of dangle the leaf around, guys. I think it adds a really nice detail. And then we just have rose bush here, a lilac, if uh, any flower of your choice, to be honest, and then orange tulip and a azure blue it. I I honestly don't know have. Did I pronounce as a blue wit wrong? I should really stop saying that or I'm gonna get slapped in the face. But we're just gonna do that one, uh, that one. Oh, that's small, okay. And that one, a red tulip here, and orange tulip. And I think that looks nice. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna. Add that, and we're gonna add a leaf right there. And I think that looks nice. You know what, guys? For this part, I'm actually gonna. Yep, that looks way more nicer. And then right around this one, we can add a orange slip down there as a blit a yeah i think that works i'm just gonna add a flower here actually you know what guys one thing you can do is add some tall grass if you are you're out of flower choices i mean there's a lot of flower uh, you can choose from but i think tall grass kind of does it when you're like you have no idea which flower to choose. You can just add some tall grass around it, guys. Then uh, some orange tulip, red tulip. This is kind of a small pit, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think that works, guys. Okay, and for this one, I don't really think we need any tall grass there. And for this one, yeah, we're gonna replace that with tall grass. Okay, and then guys, final some final details. This I know I have a lot of final details, but uh, this is really the final detail, guys. We can add some lanterns hanging uh, at the at the side of the roof, guys. I think it it really light up the place and add the fine uh, the actual detail. And we can have days like that, and one in the doorway, and there we go. That looks about right. Okay, now we can add some barrels. If you want, if you don't want to add barrels, it's okay, guys. I think barrels looks quite nice, guys. Just add some barrels if you can. Yeah, look at that guys i mean that corner you don't really need to fit some barrels in but like these kind of corner they are kind of blend so you can just add like some barrels i think it looks nice in all the, uh, the way and there we go guys that is basically all the uh the whole build guys so uh yeah, just kind of make it your own with the interior and the leaves. It's kind of optional if you want to add the barrels. And I think we can add some fun adjustments here. Honestly, don't know. But we can add like that one. And yeah, guys, that is it for the whole build, guys. Uh, I hope you did enjoy because. I honestly did enjoy build, uh, doing this tutorial so now and if you guys want to see more tutorials of buildings I, I mean we can build like a whole C, uh, tutorial series and like we can have maybe like a greenhouse next episode or something but I hope you guys did enjoy today's video uh, you know I've not been uploading for one, one week and a half guys because just trying to figure out what to upload guys but yeah if you guys want to see more uh 
building tutorials which is smash the like button and subscribe uh one subscribe means a really means a lot to me and comment down below what you guys want to see me build next and with that i'll see you in the next video peace out Thank <laughs> you.